What are you going to allow your mind to be inspired by today? Are you going to be inspired by the things you see or discouraged by the things you see? Or are you going to go higher? If your inspiration only comes from situations or circumstances, your thinking may be in error. Let us remember Jesus' instructions. He says, do not judge by appearances, but judge with right judgment. We use right judgment in all that pertains to us when we follow the inspiration of divine ideas. That is a heavenly idea that is not based on what you're seeing with human eyes. These divine ideas are treasures inside of ourselves if we focus on that treasure. When we treasure divine ideas by holding them and by allowing them to grow in us, they become demonstrations of peace, of love, and abundance in our lives. Here's what it says in Matthew 6, verse 20 and 21. It says, Lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Well, the light of Christ within is inspiration that we can receive. We can have a heaven on earth when we live in these divine ideas about our potential, about what we can do, who we really are, through prayer and through practicing of this, holding the divine idea inside of us, holding the truth. It is going to recreate our lives and our thinking. It is through constantly turning to the indwelling Christ ideas that we maintain a constant divine inspiration in our lives. We will think calmly and will act wisely because we will be illumined and inspired and we will be not only good for ourselves in doing this, but good for everyone that comes in contact with us.